God is our eternal Father. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Kayla Ochoa. Kayla writes, When I went to buy a cell phone in the Middle East, I was asked the typical questions. Name, nationality, address. But then as the clerk was filling out the form, he asked, What's your father's name? That question surprised me, and I wondered why it was important. Knowing my father's name would not be important in my culture, but here it was necessary in order to establish my identity. In some cultures, ancestry is important. Well, the Israelites believed in the importance of ancestry, too. They were proud of their patriarch Abraham, and they thought being part of Abraham's clan made them God's children. Their human ancestry was connected, in their opinion, to their spiritual family. Hundreds of years later, when Jesus was talking with the Jews, he pointed out that this was not so. They could say Abraham was their earthly ancestor, but if they didn't love him, the one sent by the Father, they were not part of God's family. The same applies today. We don't choose our human family, but we can decide the spiritual family we belong to. If we believe in Jesus' name, God gives us the right to become his children. Who is your spiritual father? Have you decided to follow Jesus? Let this be the day you trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins and become part of God's family. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from John chapter 8, verses 39 through 47. Abraham is our father, they answered. If you were Abraham's children, said Jesus, then you would do what Abraham did. As it is, you are looking for a way to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the works of your own father. We are not illegitimate children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own, God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Yet because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. That's today's scripture reading from John chapter 8, verses 39 through 47. Let's pray. Father, you are our heavenly and eternal Father. Thank you for Jesus, Lord. Thank you that because of his sacrifice for us, we can be your children. In his name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.